Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Icy Ace here, um, content creator based in the UK, and today we're going to be reviewing Jujutsu Kaisen. Today we've got Peach with me. Um, so hi guys, um, I'm Peach, um, and today we're going to be talking about the Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter Zero, probably about to be my favourite anime movie of all time. Um, but let me give you a bit of background for those of you who haven't seen the film before haven't seen the anime before this um film is based for it comes from the same anime that was based on a manga by gege akitami called jujutsu kaisen and it follows the story of a guy called yuji itadori who through a series of unfortunate events finds himself at a school that teaches them about curses um, I don't want to say much more in case I spoil it for you but this film in particular picks up before the events of the anime where we follow the story of a guy called Yuta Akatsu and he himself finds himself at Jujutsu High for a similar set of circumstances to um, UG and yeah that's all I'm gonna say for now in terms of the story how did you find the movie i remember you saying to me like you're an avid manga reader you already said to me that this was your favorite manga arc how did you find the story and how they adapted it in the movie i feel like they did it in a really tactful really beautiful way without just lifting panels and without going like completely off the edge i feel like those are the two things that you worry about when you're reading um well, when you're watching an anime movie and um, one thing i really liked is how both in the story and in the film they explore like the past of the old characters you know you get to see some old faces and some new ones too um and i love how they allude to the things that are to come later on but I again love, yeah, I, I agree i agree the way they drip fed us information while still making it entertaining i love it you know, we still have more questions about a lot of other characters, but at least mm -hmm. some of our questions were, you know, answered. And they did it in a really good way. They did it in a way. What I do really like is the way that, you know how some anime movies you have it where they just, it's like five episodes condensed into one two hour movie. It doesn't really sit well as a standalone movie. What the pacing, the pacing was so good. Throughout the whole film, the pacing was good. It was great. They, they didn't spend too much time on one thing. The way mm. it was formatted was beautiful. I really liked that. You know, you, you didn't get bored. There was always mm. something new coming. And, the and they didn't waste that. time. There were no long training arcs. Do you no. know what I mean? Everything flowed. It's back to back to back. You know, the plot points were plot pointing. It did everything that I needed to do. So, and another thing I did like is there were so many emotions. You know, there were so many emotions. Without it spoiling it too much. that I cried in that cinema. Listen, <laughs> nobody will ever know. You're not even allowed to know. I said, wow. <laughs> you know? <laughs> There was one point I looked over at you and I was holding my tears in. I was like, <sighs> and I saw you and you were. <laughs> Just a big bullying in the cinema. And it's such a lovely story, honestly. And it's like, what I love the most about this film is that, you know how sometimes you watch anime and, you know, they'll give you a little cameo and then you won't see them for the rest of the movie. Like everybody who made an appearance in this film was mashing work in yeah. some way, shape or form. And I love that for them. Um, yeah, um, I feel like what everybody wants to talk about is the visuals and that thing yeah. was visually <laughs> stunning. You see that choreography, it was a stupendous display and know for a fact them animators have not slept no, after the like they put on. Shift. They are doing the long shifts. Yeah. And like the music was really good as well. I feel like it's easy to have like great material visually and like plot wise, but if the score isn't supporting the film, then that's one area that you can go flat and it didn't. It didn't. I know that one of the, um, what's it called? I know the theme was done by King Gnu. And I know that one of their um, band members, you know, the singer, songwriter, vocalist, brother, he also worked on some of the music for Bell. So if you've seen Bell and you liked what was going on, like in the audio soundscapes there, I feel like you're really going to enjoy this movie as well. It really set the tone. Um, it really set the tone. A hundred percent it is. So what do you think that you liked the most then, given that we liked it so much? You know, if you had to pick one thing, you had to pick one thing. Yeah, you know, yeah. Oh, that's it, a hard question. Without spoiling anything, one thing that I like the most. One thing I like the most is that it answered questions while allowing me to, you know, have more. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like it satisfied some of my urges and it gave me more questions without being too annoying like some animes do. You know, some animes withhold, they with they, they they give you the, the tiniest hint of information and they withhold it for maybe 600 episodes. They, they Six, yeah. <laughs> and if if we all watch anime here, we know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but if I see beat, don't say I spook. <laughs> it's, I feel like I 110 percent agree. I feel like I'd say the same. You know, they answered certain questions, you know, the fight scenes were amazing. They, they were great. You know, you, you saw the amount of times I jumped. Yeah, I was making ah oh. was really I had screaming in the silent cinema. It was like is that good? And I can't blame it because me too are screaming on inside. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually so good. It was too bad. I'd have to agree in how they've answered questions and they've they've just set up really well yeah. for the um... season two. If there was one thing that you didn't like, what would it be? That's a dumb question because it wasn't anything that I didn't like. Same, same. What was I supposed to say? Oh, I didn't oh. like that the film was too short. I didn't yeah. like that I got. I didn't like that. No, it's done. I actually can't think. I was same. gonna be like, oh yeah, Nanami was on the screen well. long yeah. enough. Is is it a film about him? Yeah. Is he's even doing cameos? Oh my gosh. We left feeling satisfied. You know, as much as so good. One, as much as we wanted more, I, I left the cinema thinking, okay, yeah, that's that's good. I can go home happy now. You know. Mm-hmm. 110 percent overall if you could score it what would you score it easy 11 out of 10 and i'll skim it until the day i die i'm going to watch it again <laughs> i'm going to watch it three times i even i was sitting in the cinema i text my brother and i was like yo when you come back to london i'm gonna take you to see this film don't ask me no questions that's how good it is <laughs> same i think i'll give it a 10 10 i'll give it a 10 10 I'm, I'm quite a lenient reviewer but this was an easy 10 10 it's easy i'm definitely seeing it again and everybody else should see this movie and thank us later in like there's a lot of what are they called like archetypes like there are a lot of plots that you see over and over again in anime um but i feel like this is a really nice story about like a guy who's just trying to find his place in the world trying to find um his reasons for being there and also do it through doing so making amends with his own past um and they do it in such a like very refreshing it's not forced yeah, it's, it's not refreshing take on it oh like, yeah yeah 100 yeah, percent. this trope in general I oh, like anybody who watches this film and doesn't really watch jjk too tough or they've only seen like season one i feel like this will definitely get them wanting to see more of yeah. what jjk has to offer and it's a really good like it just flows so well. Like this chapter zero is really like the prologue that I feel like JDK needed. Yeah. So yeah, they like, did big it really well. I big them up, big them up. They did it in such a way that it, you don't need to have read the manga or see the anime. Like it, like mm-hmm. obviously it said it's a prequel, you know. Anyone can jump into this as an introduction to the whole franchise. So mm-hmm. and even as a manga reader, like they've done the art style so much justice. Like everything translates well even though the animation style is quite unique and i feel like anybody who's like a 2d animation head or just an animation head in general is gonna is really gonna like what they've done in a lot of the fight scenes like i can't say anymore but it was very what a word like abstract it's just cute like they oh i love it so much and all i'm gonna keep saying for the rest of this conversation is i love it so much because i love it so much it's good good feed man yeah big up for animation big up Gay, gay, big up Jujutsu Kaisen and the Crunchyroll team. All right, we hope you enjoyed the review, guys. Special thanks again to Funimation, Crunchyroll, and Nay Saga for allowing us to enjoy this experience. They really took care of us. Um, if you want to find me on anything else, ICA is on all platforms Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. And I'm Peach underscore P-D-A-C-H-X. Um, if you want to see the JJK film, it'll be out in the UK and Ireland on March 18th. So make sure to be there. So be sure to like, follow and subscribe and keep up with the Nay Saga channel. And we will hope to see you guys soon. Peace.